Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 80. 8-0. This is, I'm pretty sure, my second longest series of all time. Which is cool. I have no problem with that. Uh, especially because it's, I think it's going to be wrapping up pretty soon. I do have the, I'm starting to get the sense that it, it needs to wrap up soon. We've got some other stuff I really want to get to. Super Shadow Empire is coming out on Steam on December 3rd. So I want to start getting back into that. Um, I've been playing a lot of Supreme Ruler lately. That's a game I love. And may even consider doing some more content on it. Um, yeah, so what's going on here? Basically, we fought off the enemy. If the enemy is only one battleship and some cruisers, then we basically decimated their force. We could be dealing with just land-based aircraft here. Well, the flying boats obviously are, but we don't really know where the... Uh, if there are enemy carriers, and if there are, where they would be. I don't, I just, I mean, I guess you should have some sense of a direction, but we have none. We have absolutely none. We would probably want to do the old trick where you follow them back or something. Anyway, none of that's going to happen. Uh, what did I, are we moving into the wind? No, wind is to the north, so we're moving back east. Why? Oh, yeah, that's right. We want to start protecting the transports with our cap. Um, but I feel pretty confident that we're going to be okay. I have no idea. Okay, we are opening fire good. So I'm hoping that we do catch this fleeing group. Saitama's so floating. Oh man, we might... F no, the heavy cruisers actually don't have float planes, if I'm not mistaken. So we should be okay there. Okay, so we have more formations ready to launch. It's still early enough in the day that, yeah, no problems launching if we wanted to. And I'm wondering if it's maybe worth it to have my light cruiser, my light carriers, I should say, launch a strike at the bay. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, weather does not permit aircraft launches. Okay. So as soon as air, um, weather permits aircraft launches, we'll probably go ahead and launch at the bay, just as a, just in case. I'm not sure if I want these guys to be wasting all their ammunition. It's kind of okay. Let's hold on. Well, I mean, if we get a few hits, that we should slow them down. So, and no recent reports, as far as I know. So, no reports for the last hour or so. <laughs> yeah, we got a report of a battleship basically at our at the position where it's now sunk. <laughs> so. And when we lose sight of the target, it's possible the AI also is, you know, they're losing sight. Oh wow. Some medium bombers have made it all the way down here. That's impressive. That's very impressive. Well, if they end up giving hell to these light cruisers, we would we would be happy about that. We're still getting the weather limits air operations. It jumped over to the middle for a second, but still getting it. I guess we'll just run at speed for a little bit here. Um, wait. Wait, why do we see these? And why are they going, oh. Okay, well, that explains that. Get my destroyers to fan off. We'll kind of aim for this and have our light cruiser aim for the northern end because I guess more or less the Heavy cruisers should have covered anything that we're missing. Uh, I mean, they basically cover the northern side, so I don't expect to find anything here. But if we do find something, I want my destroyers to be the one to do it. These guys can slow down a fair bit. Maybe make it, well, I guess 23 is fine. Yeah, that's right. We need our carriers to go in and protect the transports just so we have enough survive. 
<laughs> so we can win the mission. Otherwise, yeah, this is looking pretty good. I think that it was, in the end, a lopsided engagement where we are favored. It's always nice. Oh, interesting. This is... Oh, man, the weather is really bad. I didn't realize how bad it is. That does not look like... Okay, they're actually firing light guns. This could be the destroyer, though. No, I think it's... Okay, you're the one who... Uh, that's actually a... a not a bad thing. We're going to hope that we, yeah, can reach them when they tuck themselves into that alley over there. When you, you know, ultimately realize the error of your ways when you run aground, I do hope that you will, oops, missed this one. I do hope that you will come back, set your course properly. Okay, good. This is, I guess this is what we just, you know, ran into. We probably aren't going to go all the way into the bay. Oh, this is weird. Well, that's not weird. That's not an unknown contact as far as I know. That is most certainly the transport fleet. Wait a second. Why, why do we have the transports way down here, though? Like, where are they going? Some of them are going the right way and some of them are not. Is this the wounded one? What the hell? She's sinking. Huh. Okay, well... Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is getting so scary. I keep seeing these things and I keep believing that they're real. No, this is just the transport fleet. Which we might as well go back with our battleship and actually escort. Here's the only thing we really need to be concerned about. This ship and... I guess we'll, we might as well make it a priority to sink her, so we don't have to worry about her after this. Yeah, well that's a transport, that's not even the one that I want. Let's go up to 26 and go scout south. Okay, we will take her out though. Oh no, the torpedo launching, it's uh... <laughs> we forgot. Oh, okay, so here we are. I should have been paying a little bit more attention, turns out. We got the situation that we wanted. All right, let me try to control two things at the same time. It doesn't seem like it should be impossible for somebody who's played the game as much as I have, but yet here we are. Okay, so that thing is dead. Let's just have you stop firing for 10 minutes. That'll put you out of range, out of visibility. Okay, Bonzon has shot a spawn on the ship, not surprising. Okay, launch torpedo. This would be a good time to launch torpedoes, actually. I'm gonna curl and we're gonna try to do some torpedo launching. Can we do it? Now, it's obvious where we wanna launch torpedoes because we know. That's not bad. There's a battle cruiser in here? Okay, that's really interesting. So we want something like 40. Anybody here, like, okay, 68, 71, no, that's not what I want. I want something low, 46, that's a good one. Let's launch that. And same with Akakazi, we want them just basically going straight over. A CVL? Oh, interesting. High of 51, this could be reasonable. High of 49, no. Low of 60, that's a good one. We'll fire that. Get those torpedoes in there. So if this is actually a battle cruiser. I'm hoping it's not, but if it is, okay. Well, first of all, what are we doing? Weather limits air operations. Okay, that explains why we're not gonna be able to do anything. But yeah, so we'll just keep launching torpedoes at the angles we uh, we expended everything. Okay, we'll go ahead and deploy. Don't deploy smoke yet, actually. I probably should have told these guys not to launch torpedoes, except for when I tell them to launch because. They might be, I mean, they very well could be putting these torpedoes like into the wall. 
No. No, I don't think that's... Uh, we want something like 50. No, no, no. No. 60 is not... I'm not convinced that's the one. I want a low. It's too bad you can't toggle. Yeah, I'm actually... I'm unhappy with all these solutions. Low 64 is not really what I want, although the battle cruiser appears to be going away and I imagine it's gonna spin south. So I am gonna fire this. Probably not the best solution, but let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, we're at, uh, these guys are launching torpedoes as well, which eh, seems okay. Let's see if what other torpedoes we can launch. We can do a 91. Um, a 98. A high of 63, which I don't want. Okay, we've now identified it as an arc. Two battle cruisers. Okay, we probably got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> so what the hell is going on? We have one battle cruiser that is moving this way, one battle cruiser which is moving this way. So we do want something pretty much well where these torpedoes are going already. Gosh, this is a really interesting turn of events. 69, probably want something like 50, no, that, that, that just doesn't go quite far enough, no, I'm going to have the Bonzon move in while the Ashikaze moves back, possibly sacrificing people here, but, and Ashigara is going to have a chance, I think, to launch, but Miyoko has a chance or not? 94. That just seems like it's a little bit too... Can you give me something like 80? <laughs> 90. I don't like that. I still don't like that. So... We have a lot of torpedoes though, so I feel like we might as well launch. Oh, I saw an 89 there. But no, that's still not that's not what I want. I'm gonna try this one. Can you possibly give me a low? For the CV? Oh, it is coming this way. No, it's not gonna do that. It's gonna turn north probably. Okay, I'm just gonna hold fire. No, I know I mean I might even just let Miyoko make up her own mind. Bonzon going in, though. This is interesting. Okay, so we are doing a lot of damage to the Chinango here. And that's good, because we will hopefully be preventing counter-launching. Okay, actually, the CV did make up her mind. That, that like makes it more of an interesting choice here, what we want to do. Still don't think that's the right call. I don't think anything... CV. Yeah, see, now we're talking, like, 89, but what about 87? I know that they're gonna turn, so I don't think that I still don't think that's the the one. It's so funny. I mean, I wish I could just tell my guy, yeah, just don't lead them. They're gonna keep turning, so just fire into where that like almost into their current position, especially because you know you, you want to maximize the chance of anybody getting hit, not just one person. If I wanted to maximize the chance of CV getting hit, I'd probably aim here. But since there's a lot of people in this area and it's possible the CV could turn north, and we know the battle cruiser is going north, well, well then we'd aim a little bit more this way. Whew. Yeah, I'm not, I'm still not liking the, the angles I'm seeing there. Let's see what the Ashigara has. Eight, it's worse. Like, I need like a 60. Low. <laughs> Why don't you just let me fire my torpedoes? <laughs> Okay, well, we're going in already, right? And I didn't check the bonds on. Let's probably put some torpedoes. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Let's put some torpedoes on the Arkansas. Seems like a good choice. And we need to launch all torpedoes at this point because... And deploy all smoke. Because we're not... I mean, this is very quickly becoming bad. 
That's fine. We, I know we'll it will continue to turn, but we're just going to set up a, a rain of torpedoes. I know. That is interesting. That that could work. Okay, so smoke, smoke, turn back. Yoko, turn away. Squad Mac. Oh boy. Oh, we got we got a hit. You don't have any torpedoes left. Okay, go back this way. As soon as we can launch, we we know what we're gonna do. Okay, this is San Diego class. What is that? Oof, it's a tough one. So we really got ourselves in a pickle here. Had I been paying more attention, we probably wouldn't be having this problem. Doesn't look good for our friend here. But Ashikaze is going to do her best. We have, I think, oops, zero torpedoes left. I think that that means she's sinking. I'm going to try to at least give a, a broadside. Yeah, she's done for, so let's just turn and engage. Come on. And get Miyoko out at least. I don't know why you're so blinded, Ashigara. Why? Okay. Yeah, Ashigara's done for, but please just let me fire torpedoes. Why? What is going on? Are they like all dead? Starboard, we do have three, we have all six torpedoes actually. What is the situation here? Is she already sinking? She's technically not sinking yet. Turret disabled, secondary's knocked out. Um, some torpedoes exploded, but um, we were able to launch torpedoes after this. I'm not sure. Huh. Okay, this is your last chance. Please allow me to launch torpedoes. God, stupid. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's get the Ashikaze out if we can. Oh man, we're both probably going to be dead here. The whole group. But if we get the weather back... You know what? We have one other possibility which I haven't really considered and that is we do have two battleships so let's go up to 20 and start heading north and take a light cruiser with us as an escort maybe also a set of destroyers it looks like we're going to be okay as far as getting um okay Congo, you just get out of here looks like we're going to be okay as far as getting the transports to the right place Shikazi's avoiding torpedoes. <laughs> well, this is a good thing, frankly. It's a good thing that they're wasting all their efforts on my destroyers and that. Because if we are able to claim those, that'd be a good prize. And yeah, we had to lose at least one, possibly both of our heavy cruisers to do all this. Wow. I don't even see what the structure points left are. If she actually does manage to get away, I will call this an AI victory. Um, and what I mean by that in this case is one of those victories where you, you've you seen the AI do this. <laughs> Wait. Well, that's weird. Also not good. And they're firing at us. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, what we need to do now that we can is launch everything. And they're all ready. Can we get this? No. So let me launch. I'll hold back the torpedo bombers as a second wave. We know where we want to launch, though. Over here. Which should cover this as well. 
Party targets are battleships, probably. I think so, actually. So launch strike, coordinate strike. I'm not even gonna. Sure, launch strike. Okay, then let's coordinate these guys down here as well. Same thing. Take the biggest number. We'll just launch strike as well, and we'll move down to our CBLs. Okay, we have 16 ready to go, and we'll launch this strike. And we have 12 ready to go, and we'll launch this strike. And you know, we'll prioritize the CVs for these. And we'll probably prioritize the CVs for the second wave. Okay, Ashikazi's out. Okay, so we are hitting this, whatever it is. I'm not too worried about torpedoes at this angling. It's not very good angling. Oh no, my Miyoko's sinking. She didn't even get hit. Is she just flooding? Oh yeah, she's flooding a lot. Did I not? Well, I mean, she was kind of doomed, but yeah. Okay, well, the only way we're going to be able to make this up is by sinking those battle cruisers now. And that would maybe be a victory, but still a Pyrrhic one, because we don't have that many heavy cruisers. Okay, well, at least we're slashing whatever this thing is, and even hitting it with 16-inch guns. Um, I'm not exactly ecstatic about my light, or about my actual carriers entering range. Where are my light carriers? What the hell? Okay, so you guys have to come. Wait, are you turning into the wind? Sorry if you are. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've decimated whatever this is. <laughs> Still haven't identified it, but we, we definitely kicked the crap out of it. So you should come back over here and help us. I think this might be the Corvette. Yeah, we, we kept hitting it. <laughs> we'll have the destroyers over here go and pick up the pieces. And on we go. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Okay. Um, let's look into launching whatever else is left. Uh, let's prioritize, yeah, let's have at least one of them prioritize the carriers. Launch strike. And... Have these guys prioritize the battleships again. Launch strike. Okay, here we go. Uh, we don't want to launch any more float planes, I think, at this point, since we know where the enemy is. Gonna complicate things. Yeah, they're still here, which is good. And the good news about me, I mean, the reason why I chose a little bit north is if they decide to move north, I will catch them. If they were to move so far south that I actually don't catch them, I assume that's still okay because then my battle cruiser, my, my, I'm sorry, my battleships should be, if they're heading south, then my battleships should get up, catch up with them. And then at least I still have a chance to destroy them. No. No more launching. But it looks like they're going to stay right there, which is perfect for us. Um, yeah, you're in good shape. Heading the right way, at the right speed. And it looks like we're going to get to the objective just fine. Yeah, they're wasting all their torpedoes and shells and everything on that. Which is good. It's fantastic. Kazi, yeah, this is the one we wanted to find. She's already dead in the water. <laughs> Lots of critical hits and stuff going down. This is just a craving class. Oh boy, she's dead, dead, dead. <laughs> she took, she took at least one, maybe two, maybe three. I don't know. Heavy shells. So, yeah. So I'm down to twenty. That's. I'm still mourning that loss. Uh, it's very disappointing loss of those precious, precious heavy cruisers. All right, we objective accomplished, but again, pure victory unless we can take out these battle cruisers. And that's really what the only thing we're thinking of doing now. If we happen to miss these, I assume that we can't. Okay, 13,000 feet is still 
yards, I mean, is still something. They're flying like right over where their positions are. Are they not allowed to do anything? Oh, I don't think they're allowed to do anything. Oh my gosh. That's just stupid. <laughs> okay, we have at least an air combat going on. Oh, no, 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 we're being attacked. That's impossible, right? Because our guys just flew right over them and didn't attack. Obviously, we're flying like right over them. <laughs> yeah, visibility is very poor. Just annoying. So annoying. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's not that important. We'll keep you guys over here, I guess. Maybe going down this way. Yeah, that's fine. Nice formation, actually. Screening our flanks. Okay, there it is. They're still there, apparently. All right, I think we're gonna send the destroyers in first. Let me refresh my memory. How much damage have we taken? Some heavy hits, no damage at all. I'm just trying to think, <laughs> can we take a torpedo and get out of here? <laughs> it's not like the ideal way of thinking about things, I admit. Okay, 28 knots, let's just set it to 28 knots exactly. This feels borked to me that they keep flying in and then not doing anything. Yeah, this is definitely all of them. Okay, here we go. Turn away with the Yajiri. All right, here we go. Big time. Big time, here we go. All right, we landed the first hit, but it's a six inch shell. Cut across the bow this way. Okay, landed the first big shell as well. That's a good angle, I think, for the San Diego. And now the Kamikaze is the only one who can engage. Okay, let's first switch over to line of brass turn together. Okay, and mainly I think we can let the battleships do what they do best, which is shoot rather large shells and sink these guys, but we will also take any opportunities to Okay, good, good, good. That's very good. Um our vision our like do we turn it in or turn it out? So we'll lose vision as soon as we go be oh my god the kamikaze of course it had to be the kamikaze which has actually has torpedoes left getting destroyed no stop oh god they picked the worst times i tell you they picked like the worst times to have it skip to 
50, 52. That's reasonable. I really want something like, like one. <laughs> What about a 353? Give me at least a 353. No, you can't even give me a 352 again. Well, I think she's gonna start going down, so we will launch that. And your job here is done. You can just deploy. You don't even need to deploy smoke because we have another destroyer's group coming in. Okay, so launch all your torpedoes. I hate that. That's annoying. Yeah, so maybe that, uh, maybe it reported her sinking the other heavy cruiser before as well. Oh, wow. We might be able to just pummel them at range. Yeah. <laughs> just let the, the battleships do their job. I think that's our best bet. Why did we lose sight of them? They were right there, in vision. They can't, How can they have any torpedoes left? All right, whatever, it's okay. It's possible, I suppose. I mean, I can't actually count all the torpedoes they have. <laughs> okay, we're hitting. There we go. Just keep hitting. It's a pretty good angle for us as well, as far as torpedoes go. Yeah, we're doing well. Like, this is a bluff. Because I know that... You know, well, not only are they getting their keith, uh, teeth kicked in in that attack... Wow, so you cause you're just like a lightning rod. We're gonna have to go closer. That's okay! <laughs> closer we'll go. Man, Soyukazi is just like a, a rocket here. Okay, this is a battleship, and we're gonna go in on her. I hate, how do you identify this destroyer? Do you see this? They identified the destroyer, but they can't. Can we launch at the destroyer and then hopefully hit no, I don't want to launch something north, but that doesn't make any sense at all. We'll stick with it just for another... Oh my god. What the hell's going on? Okay. Did not expect that. That thing is just getting pummeled. And the torpedoes might hit us. <laughs> hard to port. Hard to port. Very, very hard to port. I will launch, though. I will, I'm will. i going to continue to launch because we, we, we would like to get this thing. And then we're just going to try to squeak up <laughs> that way. Okay, two hits. Five hits. It's a, it's a victory. That is a victory. Okay. So... Destroyer, detach, take off AI control, just keep heading that way, maybe go 20 knots, you should turn down this way, that battleship is dead, 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 so hold fire for 10 minutes, while we just basically collect ourselves, get the Soyukazi out of here, she can't take another hit, you know what, do this. Just get out of here. What's your max speed? 17? It is. That's pretty bad even in such poor visibility. And we still haven't taken any big hits on these 
vessels, which means I'm still strongly considering going in. Yeah, I am, I'm gonna go in and we're gonna try to get the rest of them. Which means we need a destroyer to lead the way. And a light cruiser that's willing to launch torpedoes perhaps. Yeah, you do have torpedoes. Okay. Well, here we go. I don't know if this is suicidal or not. They only have one, they only have one um, heavy ship that I have to worry about. And I think it's one that's already been hit by torpedoes. I don't actually know though. We know for sure that this one is dead. Uh, hold your fire, because otherwise you might fire at the obviously sinking ship. And I think we want to launch torpedoes into this fur ball, if we can. Okay, can I launch at a contact? No. So we gotta do this in the right way. <laughs> gotta come in at just the right angle. Okay, can we turn that tight? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the battleship right there, okay, so turn. Um, can you turn this way? There, that's what I wanted. Give her the old what for, and turn away. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's, that's not the ship that's shooting at us, thankfully. Hey, Ujiri, I think you'll make it out. Three hits, oh my gosh, this is, this is working out extremely well. Okay, so Ujiri, can you make it? Yeah, you can. Ujiri's like, come on, man, I, I already got wrecked in the first part of the engagement, and now you send me back in like this? I did. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it works. We want to wring the most out of our crew, and uh, sometimes it seems like it's cruel and unusual punishment, but it's all just an effort to... It's the, the rising sun. This is the effort. No, nothing less is expected for a serviceman of the, of the rising sun. So far, extremely good with our battleships. Like, no damage at all. Just no damage. Okay, hold fire for 10 minutes. That's the one, okay, we need to sight it again. That's the one we want. Can we, can we please? You gotta be kidding me. Just fire at it, I don't care. I don't care what you think it is, just fire at it. It stopped? Is it not like right next to me? How did it do that? Oh, it is. Okay, good. Oh, it's a carrier. Well, not for long, I think. You, you really... You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, if they didn't do that, I would... I was gonna die. Okay, thank god. Breathe, breathe. So this is one way to wreck a carrier. <laughs> Pretty sure that this is a light carrier and it's just dead. I do want to go back down the line. We're gonna just wreck this thing first. Yes. Do you already have Okay, that's obviously a very good angle for you. Feel free to launch. This is completely okay. Okay, that's not good enough though. At this point, it's better for you to launch torpedoes because I think the only way you're gonna save yourself is by destroying the ship even before you get out of its 
gun range, but yeah, that's it. That should do it. And you will also survive. This is actually turning out okay. Okay, interesting. What the hell do we have here? Well, looks like a destroyer <laughs> at those kind of speeds. Um, yeah, so you are actually free to go, you could cut. You're, I release you from your vassal, vassalage. <laughs> it's kind of the way I'm thinking about this. Uh, okay, let's move right along the coast again. Being very aggressive with these, and I can hear some people saying, yeah, yeah, it's a really aggressive, reckless move, but I think there's one carrier left out there, and I would like her dead. Okay. Hold fire. Don't need to waste ammo on that. Okay, we can. Um, yeah, we can open fire again. Get me down. What do we have? Forty-one minutes. Good. So far, so good. Okay, we're going to, I think there's one more carrier in here, and we're going for it. And because I don't think there's like any torpedoes left, having survived like pass after pass of torpedoes, and they always get the jump on me, don't they? It's a lot of medium gunnage, but it's kind of funny that we didn't return fire right away because they were firing at us. You would think that unknown, uh, unidentified, or uh, was it uncertain identity would be dismissed as soon as they open fire at you. Anyway, we are doing the right thing here, I'm pretty sure. We're just gonna start destroying these things. Yeah, that San Francisco's now a, now a goner. This is what I was hoping for. A very aggressive engagement where we just slaughter all the rest of the ships out here. And sure, it would be nice to do this at range, but hey, the one advantage you can take from having all those previous torpedo hits and all that is that you know at least they don't have very many torpedoes left. And maybe even none. I'm thinking none, but we could even survive probably a, a hit or two. I think that's it. I think we actually destroyed all of them. And when you can see them when they aren't within range, that must I think that means that basically they're on fire. Oh, I really want to hit that CV. Can we aim at that CV? Yeah, okay, I think we got it. And I also will set it as the target as well. Where's that button? Oh, manual targeting? Sure, yeah, division target, here we go. We're holding fire, I mean, it's just comical. It's obviously, it's because it's a computer algorithm, right? But these guys would know that they're, <laughs> they're free to engage on any of these targets. They're all stopped, but let's not, let's double tap. Let's not leave any doubt. Okay, let's leave doubt because apparently we can't identify these damn ships. <sighs> and I will take on these destroyers. I have no, I mean, at this point, I'm anybody. Okay, they're firing at you. Doesn't that give you the right to engage? I don't understand this. We're probably going really slow, too. Wait, no. Yeah, 15 knots. <laughs> Just meandering in and out. Meander, meander. Please identify. Okay, turn. She, we're, how do you not? It's, it's a... If we run into this... Okay, hit the carrier. Hit the carrier. You did not hit the carrier. Okay, we hit the carrier once. The six inch gun. That's another San Francisco? Holy cow. Well, that's a lucky pickup for us. And she's definitely, oops. She's definitely a goner is what I was about to say. Now, okay, well. Probably call time to call the Saitama off the pursuit. <laughs> Detach. I 
wonder where this guy came from. If it's a new, it must be a new ship, right? So, okay, get you down to 10, but I do want to get you out of there. Turn this way. Really just want you to park next to the, okay, look at, I don't know how to deal with this. We'll wait for that ship to sink, I guess. <clears throat> I guess I want to keep the Saitama close to my other battleship because we want to make sure that um, just in case she's jumped on by anyone, the Daigoji's nearby to protect her. I think that the carry hasn't moved in a while, so we'll do a little bit of escorting here. Oh, that's not what I wanted though, is it? Okay, don't escort. Bad escort. So Daigoji, why don't you go back in while the Saitama just drifts off to the southwest? Has she already controlled her flooding? I mean, it's only two torpedoes. Not yet, but I'm pretty confident she'll survive. It's only two torpedoes and this is my elite ship. Okay, everything here has sunk except for that damn, well, I guess she sank because we don't see her. That's good. But don't, don't go this way. Go this way. Oh, 26, slow down to six even. And I guess we actually want to move away from the enemy. Time is not up yet, damn it. Don't really want my carriers going there. <laughs> Excuse me. If this ship is lost, I I will lose my I will lose it from two torpedoes. Just because the AI always gets away. Always you got to be kidding. You got to be Well, whatever. This series is almost over. I would be so upset. But that's okay. And look at the battle ends right after that happens. <clears throat> well, I consider this a loss from the perspective that I should have had way better success. And, and by the way, given the opportunity to go in and do the battleship attack, I would do that again. Yes. I think it was worth getting the carriers. And I don't think that... Um, yeah, I mean... How often does the AI survive? How often does any every one of our ships survive with two torpedo hits? I don't think that ships should necessarily survive with two torpedo hits, but you know they do. How much? Do, uh, I mean, how many torpedoes do these things take to sink? <clears throat> now maybe the AI does juggle their damage better. Um. That's possible. Maybe there's a way, I mean, what I mean is there's speed, maybe there's a speed management, like optimum thing to do. But, <clears throat> okay, there it is, our troops land in the Philippines. Return to Manila, return to Manila Bay. Okay, well, that was still a fun battle. Lots of technology suddenly pouring in. I think I'm gonna decline battles here and we're 49 minutes in, but I think that this is essentially going to be the end of the series. Cause I, I'm, I guess at this stage, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm gonna decline this. And eh, no to all. I think I'm ready to run this one. Oh my god, you're not gonna let me. I could sim it. It's a huge battle. Um. Yeah, they really didn't. 50 minutes. Well, I, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to. At this point, I guess we'll have to do one more episode. Hopefully to close out the war. 
Okay, well, I, I still think that, that is um, BS with the Saitama. I think the only damage she had was the Saitama. Had the one who had a couple, she had two heavy hits and a medium hit, and then the two torpedoes. Yes, it was the Saitama who already had the hits. So she already had two heavy hits and a medium hit. I think it might have been more. Um, anyway, I was not I was not concerned about it. Why am I talking so much about it? Well, I'm preempting the <laughs> the comment section, I guess. <laughs> I suspect there will be some people who think that I could have just walked away and left those ships without moving in. There's probably several stages of times when you could walk away. I'm just gonna say that Tortuga, Tortogo, Tortuga, all the torto, to, all the various Tortuga avatars, avatars, um, all my admiral personalities were very aggressive <clears throat> because too many times I've seen those enemy ships get away with only you know well basically I've seen them get away with two or three torpedo hits and it's it's like man you just did a little bit extra pushed a little bit harder you roll the dice and maybe you would have got the kill and I think I live with that regret more than I do I mean definitely most of the times I go in I don't lose battleships like that so, we might have to take this one on the chin as like some very bad RNG. I don't think any of my Tortuga Admiral personas are particularly blessed with lucky RNG. We've seen how those peace treaties have gone. <laughs> so, so we get one more episode out of the series. I'll be trying to skip battles. I may, I might even bring up the simulator for this one, but we'll let it all resolve in the next episode. I'll figure out what I want to do then. Until then. And for now, thanks for watching, stay safe and take care.